boys and girls! Welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In this week's Parsha, Bamidbar, the Jewish people are counted, each person according to his shevet, and that is why we are making layered number cookies. Here are the supplies we will need. A rolling pin, mixing spoons, two medium-sized bowls, measuring cups and spoons, a plastic knife, parchment paper, a Ziploc bag, and number cookie cutters, or if not, a printed template of numbers. Here are the ingredients we will need. Flour, confectioner's sugar, sugar, oil and eggs, margarine and apple juice, vanilla extract, baking powder and salt, food coloring, and lastly, sprinkles or edible pearls of your choice. Let's begin. First, cut out the printed numbers template. It is ideal if it is laminated. If that's not possible, you can put clear packing tape on both sides and then cut it out. Next, with the help of an adult, preheat the oven to 350. Let's get to making our cookie dough. Measure out 2 thirds of a cup of sugar and a half a cup of oil into a mixing bowl. Add 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, then add 1 egg at a time, making sure to check for blood spots. Stir the mixture well. Let's talk about counting. In this week's Parsha, Hashem tells Moshe to count the Jewish people. Why do you think Hashem wanted to do this? Hashem knows everything, so why did He need to count them in order to know how many they were? Next, add 2.5 cups of flour and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Stir it until the ingredients are well blended. This may mean using your hands to mix once it becomes too hard to mix with a spoon. And don't worry about the mess this might be making. A little mess never hurts anyone, as long as it gets cleaned up when you're done. Here's a little example to help us answer our question. Imagine you had a special collection, maybe a candy collection or a collection of jewelry or Torah cards. You keep your collection in a safe place inside of a special box. Once in a while, you take out the collection and count how many candies, pieces of jewelry, or cards are in your collection. Since they are precious to you, you want to keep track of them, and you might even just enjoy counting them simply because they are special to you. When the dough seems ready, take a piece and roll it out on a clean, flat surface, such as a piece of parchment paper. It should be rolled out until it's thin, but not too thin that it will break easily. Choose your favorite number and lay it on the dough. Hold it in place as you cut out the shape with a plastic knife. Make two of each number that you choose so that each cookie will be able to have two layers. You can do this for as many numbers as you'd like or for as much dough as you have. Just like we count things that are precious to us, Hashem counts things that are precious to Him. Counting something shows its special status. By counting the Jewish people many times throughout the Torah, including in this week's Parsha, we see how important and precious every Jew is in Hashem's eyes. Each Jew, including you watching this, is part of the special nation, Am Yisrael. Every single Jew is as precious to Hashem as an only child born to parents in their old age. Imagine the love such parents would feel towards their child. Hashem loves each one of us even more than that. When you wake up in the morning or when you're in the middle of your day, whether you're feeling a little sad or down or you're feeling happy and upbeat, how can you remind yourself of how precious you are to Hashem? Carefully lay the cookies on a baking sheet and bake for 10 minutes or until golden brown. While the cookies are baking, prepare the buttercream frosting. In a second mixing bowl, combine 4 tablespoons of unsalted margarine at room temperature, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 1 quarter of a cup of confectioner sugar, 1 to 2 tablespoons of juice, and 1 to 3 drops of the food coloring of your choice. Mix all of these ingredients until the consistency is smooth, adding juice as needed. If you choose to add food coloring, add one drop at a time until the desired color is achieved. As you may know, food coloring is very highly concentrated, so a very small amount gives a lot of color. Spoon the frosting into a Ziploc bag, then cut off a tiny corner of the bag so the frosting can be squeezed out of it. When the cookies are done, allow them to cool off, then squeeze a line of frosting across one of each of the numbers. Then stack the second matching number on top, creating a double decker cookie. Finish off by decorating the top of each cookie with frosting and sprinkles in whatever design you would like. You can make dots across the cookie or cover the whole surface of the cookie as shown here. Or you can come up with your own creative idea. Refrigerate the cookies for 10 minutes, then enjoy them. Don't forget to make a bracha mizonos. See you next week.